What is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on my channel. In my last video I showed you how to connect a PS4 controller to an iPad or an iPhone on iOS or iPadOS 13 and today I want to show you how to connect your Xbox One controller to the iPad or the iPhone with iOS 13. So iOS 13 is right around the corner, will be released next week. Maybe if you see this video it's already out and I'm on iPad OS 13.1 already, that's the beta. So connecting the Xbox One controller is as simple as the PS4 controller. All you want to do is you press the Xbox button on the controller and then you have the share button up here. You press, press the share button and then the light starts flashing faster. And if you now go to Bluetooth, you will see the Xbox wireless controller right here. We click on that and it will connect immediately and it's connected so we can jump into a game and test it and i would say we start with fortnite again it's already loaded up so as you can see pushing the options button here or the start button however you want to call it you can go to the settings and pretty much the advantage of the xbox one controller is that on the ipad you have all the correct buttons so x y a b that's how they call it in the game as well you can't change that unfortunately to the playstation mapping with the ps4 controller but what i already tested is the build a pro so when you go to build a pro you see you toggle the map on the select key or here it the select key the xbox uh, button is not working so i will go ahead with custom where i have my map on the d-pad here and I have crouch when I put push the d-pad on the right so that's unfortunately how we need to do it and I would say save this real quick and jump in the game and be right back with you all right so we're in the game and as you can see everything works pretty fine with the controller so you can use the pickaxe you can switch you can build you, you can walk around basically everything works perfect with the controller pick up a weapon here uh, use whatever we want to use so everything works pretty fine and as I said this button does nothing you can see that it does nothing this button does nothing you can obviously use the uh, select button so you get into the menu but as I said before I need to use this d-pad key here for crouch and to toggle the map I use the d-pad button to the right so I'm in the map here right now so yeah everything works fine it's nice it's basically the same it's no advantage to the uh, ps4 controller you can see this does nothing so r3 does nothing and l3 does nothing as well that's a bit unfortunate maybe they will uh, fix that in the future but I would say it's a pretty nice uh, upgrade as well here to play with the Xbox one controller I would say it's a bit better quality than the Steel Series. If you're still interested in the Steel Series, I will leave the link in the description and in the info box so you can check out my video on this. And yeah, one cool thing is I probably also should show you, you can also use the uh, PS4 remote app in uh, with the Xbox controller. So if you're interested in the PS4 remote app, you can watch my uh, last video. I explained it a bit more uh, on there. But now I'm just connecting to the PS4 and as you can see everything works. We have the sound, we can move around here. Yeah, as I said in my previous video, I wouldn't recommend to play games like Apex or Call of Duty because yeah, it's just not like that great. It it had it, it's pretty responsive, but I would say for a competitive shooter it's the latency is too high. I would say we do I would say we jump into CTR and I'll quickly show you how it performs in there. But you can see the controller works pretty nice, so nothing wrong here. Alright, so I'm in a race of CTR now and as you can see everything works pretty fine here as well. Uh, the only thing which probably is a bit confusing if you are playing on a PlayStation and then you have the Xbox keys, but uh, it's not big of a thing for me. I mean, this this game is pretty easy and if you know your key mappings that's not a problem at all as well so you can do everything pretty much like on a regular controller and everything works just fine and 
I would say that's a really great upgrade so you can play PlayStation 4 apps with an Xbox controller, you can play all previously uh, released MFI games with that controller or the PS4 controller, it's a really nice upgrade. So I would say uh, we end this video here, thanks everyone for watching, leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you like what you've seen and I hope to see you guys in my next video.